Hey guys, today I want to talk about Span from Voxengo. I am Ando Verheven. I am an audio engineer, producer and educator. So last week I got a request from Daniel Decker. Daniel started his career on the age of 18, spinning some records like Hardcore Gabber House. Uh, later on he passed through to drum and bass. He's also a great drummer and he likes to, to work in an organization to put up festivals. Now in this uh, period of time that's very hard but I hope in the future he can do that again. And he asked me, Andor, as I've seen you using Spawn, you also presented in your last two videos in the free VSTs, but uh, can you tell me how you set it up? Oh, it's very easy. I put it on my master chain and that's it. No, no, <laughs> it was just a joke. I have a track over here, which I also used in an earlier tutorial. And we're going to see what Spawn actually shows us when you just put it up on your master bus. There we go. Well, that's a lot of information and very fast uh, response. Now, what I like to do is uh, before I start, I'm putting up my spectrum in blue because it's more friendly to my eyes. I also happen to set it up in gray blue uh, because it matched more with Studio One. Okay, it's just a choice. And the first thing that I do is uh, if I start out a mastering or a mix, I listen to certain parts of the track. And you can do that by holding down your control key and your right mouse and I thought on Mac it was the command key so there we go over here if you have a good set of speakers or headphones you can immediately hear the low end going all the way up to in my spectrum so you can hear that it's a bit sharp over here that's what I can do with with spawn that's the first thing the second thing is, I see a lot of information here and it's very confusing. So I set up the spectrum mode and I do that by bringing down the, this menu and go to the block size of 8192. Then I have even more confusion in it. You can see even more harmonics over here, because these are the spikes over here. And I can yeah, smooth out a little bit, give it a little bit delay in the time. So it's more, much more easier for the eyes. And next to that, I smooth it out on like, yeah, you can choose between one six and one half of an octave, but I attempt to use one third. That's my favorite uh, setup. And now we have a much more quiet spectrum over here. Now what Spawn also does is if you go over with your with your mouse, like if I bring up the, the whole spectrum again, like over here, and I press hold, I have a complete view over my spectrum and I can see where the most Maybe problems could be if I hover my mouse over the frequency and give it the right mouse click. He immediately say frequency was copied to your clipboard. Well, what can I do with this? I load up BX Digital. This one is a very good plugin. And what I basically can do is if I go down to my frequency, I can say, okay, paste it. And I'm right spot on on my frequency which I copied from Spawn. It's very nice. Now, oh, now I also not only checking the complete mix, but there's also a possibility to check out the mid side stereo uh, spectrum. You have uh, a mid and you have a side mode. Now in the sides, we're gonna see what is going on. And at this moment, I have a big problem over here. Because this this shows me the side frequencies. And the one above, that's the one 
of the mid frequencies or the complete spectrum in mono. So the sides, the sides means everything that happens from left to right, and the mid frequencies means mono means everything that happens in the, in the mid uh, range. Now, as you could see, this track had a problem in the low end because there is also uh, side information in the low end, and usually. It depends on what kind of style you're creating, but that could give you some problems, so I'm gonna get rid of that and see what happens. I got rid of it from this part to here. That's nice. So that helps me a lot with mixing, helps me a lot of yeah, mastering decisions. And helps me a lot if I work on individual instruments. Now, this is how I use Spawn. I hope you guys like this video. And if you like it, do not forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and the thumbs up. And if you guys have any question about some sort of topic or plugin or anything, hit me up, leave a comment down below. And I will probably answer your question or make a video. And I'll see you guys next week.